compiler design question based upon liveness analysis we have been given a statement s in a program and for that they have defined these three terminologies the use of s implies that the set of variables are being used in that s s is any statement or a line in the program and use of s simply signifies that there is a set of variables which are being used in that line for example if we have a statement like a equal to b plus c then b and c are the variables which are being used in this particular line then we have in of s which means the set of variables that are live at the entry of s now let us say if there is a next statement following it which is d equal to a minus b this was the first statement this is our second statement so now at the start of this second statement which variables were live these two b and c so actually the variables which were live at the end of statement 1 will be live at the start of statement 2 that is what it's being implying then the third one is out of s which means the set of variables that are live at the exit of s so considering this statement 1 which variables were live at its exit b and c so now if we are having two basic blocks basic block is simply a set of statements this is our block s1 and then this one is s2 these two are the basic blocks and every basic block has a single entry and a single exit so if some variables are live at the end of this first basic block s then they have to be live at the entry of the next basic block s2 because in between there is no way that any variable can be destroyed so if they are live at the end of first block then they have to be live at the start of second block that is what we will be assuming so now considering this which of the following statements is or are correct that needs to be identified the first one is saying out of s1 equal to in of s2 which means the variables which were live at the exit of s1 are also live at the entry of s2 that is what we are discussing till now so the statement has to be correct if any set of variable is live at this point then it will also be live in the start of s2 then next one is saying out of s1 is same as the union of in of s1 and use of s1 which means the variables which are live at the exit of s1 is same as the union of those variables which were live at its beginning and those which were used inside it now this is not necessarily true let us consider a set of statements like a equal to b plus c followed by b equal to c plus d and then we can have something like d equal to a plus b and finally let's have c equal to b minus a now in this we can see that these are the four statements now in statement 1 which of the variables are live b c and d as well because d is a variable which is being used in the immediate next line without being defined in between we not just consider the current statement but also those which are following it if there is some variable which is not being used in the current statement but it is being used at some later statement without being defined in between then we consider it to be live at that statement so at line 1 the variables which are live will be a not a b c and d a is not live because a is being defined at that particular statement and then coming to the next one c and d are being used so they will be definitely live b is being defined so it won't be then a is being used in the immediate next line without being defined so a will also be live at statement 2 then coming to the third one a and b are being used so they are live d is being defined so it is not then c it is being defined in the immediate next line so it will also be not live at this line so now coming to the last one a and b are being used so they are live c is being defined so it is not live and there is no statement ahead of it in which we can check out for a d so even that will not be considered live 
So on these set of statements, we could see that when we say that variable is live at that particular statement, then what does it have to do with those which are before it and those which will be after it? Actually, we can look in between the statements and we can say that all those variables which were live at the end of two will be live at the start of three. And this CDA, this set actually represents the set of variables which were live inside this particular statement two. So actually when we go to take the union of this in of S1 and use of S1, then that simply means that we are considering, let us call this to be one entire basic block. And then in of S1, which means the set of variables which were live before this block. Let us say A, B, C and D all were live. But then use of S1, which means the variables which were used inside that block. Now in that block, we have different statements. And if we consider the entire block as a whole, then we can say there is no single variable which is being used in all of its statements that way. And if we go to take the union, then because this is ABCD, then union would also give us the entire set ABCD. And it's not necessary that it will also be live at the end of block because inside a block, the variables get killed. So it's not necessary that those which were live at its beginning will also be live at its end. It does not matter what happens in between. It's not correct because in between, the variables do get killed. Hence, it is incorrect. And coming to the third one. Now, here they're talking about S1. And on the right side, they are talking about S2. Now, in of S2, union out of S2, which means those were live at the beginning of S2 and those were live at the end of S2. Again, both need not be same. But one thing is for sure that those were live at the out of S1 will be same as those were live at the beginning of S2. So these two are definitely same. But this is the extra added element, which is the set of variables which was live at the end of block S2. Now it is possible that this is our block S2 and in its beginning only two variables A and B were live. But inside it, C and D were also used. So then at the end, all A, B, C and D will be live. It is possible that if inside the block, if variables can get killed, then it is also possible that variables can be used again and they are made lively. So it is possible that this out is a superset of in. Hence, the C will also be incorrect because this is the excess that they are adding. And the last one, out of S1 is use of S1 in union of in of S2. It simply means those were live at end of S1. It will be same as in of S2. But what they are doing in of S2, then union with use of S1. Now again, the same thing. It is possible that at the beginning only two variables were live, but towards the end more variables were found to be live because inside a block more variables could be made live. So this use of S1 would be adding some more elements and then we are taking its union with in of S2. So definitely there would be some extra elements added and both the sides will not be the same. So again, this is incorrect. And the only one we found to be true is out of S1, same as in of S2, because we can only say for sure that the variables which are live at the end of first block will be also live at the start of the immediately following block, provided that in between there is no leakage, which is, which is generally not the case with basic blocks, because they are single entry and single exit. Hence, only correct option would be A.